Hunger Project Uganda Epicenter has been handed over to Butamba District Local Government. The facilities at the Epicenter include a health center 3, a kindergarten, youth training facility, plus community garden with some processing machines. <laughs> This facility was built in 2001 by Hunger Project Uganda to improve the well-being of residents in fields of agriculture, health and other income generating activities to improve on the household earnings. Hunger Project has concluded its orientation period and challenged district leaders to uphold the benefits of the center jealously. Don't see somebody carrying a chair from here and say, ah, uh, uh, that chair is what? It's for the epicenter. Yeah. See somebody breaking a window? Ah, uh, that's not mine. These are your investments. Guard them jealously. Expand them. We welcome Chapter 18 of the National Development Plan, which talks about community mobilization and mindset change. The director in charge of planning Operation Wealth Creation, Sarah Kataiki, has handed over this epicenter to the community with the call for accountability and transparency while taking charge. Kataiki promised support from the Operation Wealth Creation to the community. The Hunger Project provided a lot of infrastructure and resources from investors which have enabled us to leave this community when it has even tangible assets like a grinding mills, solar dryer and other things which will help them earn income. The resident district commissioner of Tambara district is Sulaimani Rubwama said government will support the continuity of the project to greater heights. So I'm, I'm proud to be born in Ibutambara and uh, I promise to serve to the best so that I see Ibutambara becoming number one. The community has been embroiled in different fields which include agriculture, saving, food processing, among others. Management of the facility will now be directly under Butamba District Local Government together with the community to ensure the sustainability of the epicenter. Abdul Nasir Lubwama. UBC News.